everyone, I hope you're all doing so well and welcome to this oil painting time lapse of this rather magical toad. I do hope you enjoy it and if you would like to read the full story about this toad and his backstory and everything, you can find it on my Instagram and I'll leave my Instagram link below. And I would be so happy for you to follow me and then I'll follow you back if you're a creative person. So I thought in this video I thought I would talk about painting toads and frogs because I never used to really paint them and actually I wasn't really sure that they would be a good subject matter sort of years ago when I started painting. But over the past few years I've sort of been looking into them more, I've been painting them a lot more and I've been enjoying painting them so much and one of the things that I think makes them look so incredible in art is that they have such expressionate faces. They also have incredibly bulging eyes and I find that that characteristic always looks really good in art. Secondly, very often Animals and creatures and insects that have really comical faces look really good in drawings and in paintings because when you convert them into a sort of real life character and you create your own character, it's so fun to make them have sort of similar characteristics to real life but it sort of makes their faces look very even more comical than they already are and so if they move their faces a lot or they have sort of very expressionate eyes very big eyes it can look incredible in art and i find another sort of animal species that looks really good in art are hairs hairs as opposed to rabbits now i do paint rabbits a lot as well but i find that hairs are actually better because they look so funny they've got quite an odd face in comparison to rabbits now rabbits are extremely visually beautiful so rabbits are like the beautiful um ethereal looking animals whereas hairs just look really kind of odd in many ways there's sometimes they have very skinny faces and they have very again big big eyes but quite bulging eyes and that again can look very good in art. I find that it's been very enjoyable to paint these really odd looking creatures that I've created and it's just been so much fun to sort of create the human characteristics that they could have as well because if they've got already expression at faces it's really really fun to sort of make them look a little bit human-esque and sort of that anthropomorphic thick vibe I always really enjoy in my artwork. Another pretty funny and interesting thing about toads is in actual fact I used to be really terrified of them because when I was a kid I was swimming outside in some sort of murky water and I turned around and there was sort of these pile of leaves across the water and I turned around and saw this dead toad floating in the water right next to where I was swimming and it was really it had obviously been dead for quite some time so it was kind of bloated and it was so scary because I wasn't expecting to see that while I was just swimming nicely in the water and so I screamed and jumped out of my skin literally and just jumped onto the grass and ran because <laughs> I was so scared and so I never forgot that experience and when, very often when I used to think of toads I used to just have this image of this dead floating toad in the water and I just remember thinking oh my god I never want to you know put them into my art because I just had this vision of it but it then over the years because years have passed it's become funnier and more hilarious that story so it's really sort of neutralized my fear over it it wasn't really a, a fear as such afterwards but I did keep thinking after I went after that experience like every time I went swimming I kept thinking oh god I hope there's not a, a dead toad next to me <laughs> always felt like there might be something weird floating in the water and so I was actually pretty sad about the toad I'm very sad uh, that it met its demise that way but I do think that what's interesting about um, painting different animals and things is that you can really especially in this more traditional style where I'm trying to attain this sort of classical look that 
it sort of transports them into the human world. And of course, when you're thinking about toads and frogs and fairy tales, you automatically think of princes and, uh, you know, that sort of transformative idea that a frog or a toad could possibly be either, you know, a prince or someone you know a human trapped within and this painting was not about a prince but it was more about the human trapped within this toad or rather he desired that he was really a handsome man you know trapped within the toad's physical form <laughs> and so I really like that idea I like the idea of uh, possibly animals themselves thinking about their own beauty and trying to transcend that and trying to transform as well and I think that's a very human uh, characteristic because imagine being something like as I expressed something like a rabbit and having everyone saying you're so cute you're so adorable and yet it's so uh, a lot more rare rather to have a toad where you'd a pet toad where you'd say like this is so cute and adorable it's sort of not the convention so it would be nice if a toad could you know transform form himself into something that is more desirable I guess. So I do hope you like this painting, here's a full on close up, I really enjoyed creating it. It took for absolutely, excuse me, it took forever, <laughs> over a week, a really long time for a small piece but I really do hope you like it and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you like this painting, take care guys. <laughs>